Hey you guys, what is going on? This is Sick on 97 once again playing GM mode. In our last episode, we had a huge backstage brawl between the man Trevor Murdoch, my boy, and Chris Benoit. It was a pretty good match. You got three stars overall, and that is big for a guy like Trevor Murdoch who only has 56 on his popularity or something. The rest of the matches, we had to match SmackDown's pay-per-view that was coming up. So we put on a lot of title matches. Randy Orton retained the Intercontinental Championship. Bobby Lashley and Booker T retained the Tag Team Championships. And Kurt Angle was crowned the new WWE Champion. So that was big. Now, uh, their Judgment Day pay-per-view didn't go down too well. It only got three stars. And uh, we saw how our guy that we traded, The Rock, was not doing too well, losing to Gregory Helms. But uh, that he is not our worry anymore. All we got to worry about is how good our next episode of Raw is going to be. I never actually checked their SmackDown, but, you know, as usual, they're not doing too great. You know, not really matching our episodes. And as you can see on the, the fan support, we are dominating. We're over... Yeah, over 1 million more viewers than them. So, we're going good. And we have the next pay-per-view as well. So, we should be doing pretty well. The Power 25. All of their guys are dominating it, apparently. But I'm not really listening to that. The fact is, I'm seeing my shows pulling off better uh, ratings than theirs. So, who really cares about the Power 25? As long as your guys are doing sick overall. Now, even Trevor Murdoch is on the Power 25 now, so... Well, what is his popularity? I did not check. His popularity now is... 64. Damn, that went up like 7 in one match. He's on a, a win winning streak of 4 matches. He's only ever lost 2 matches in this GM mode, so the guy is doing great. Uh, Shawn Michaels is very unsatisfied. I can understand that if you saw... Uh, Last week, the guys lost five matches in a row. So, uh, I'm going to have to sort that out. And it looks like a few contracts are expiring soon. So, uh, I'm going to have to build up a bit of money on this Raw. Just so I can make sure I get all those contracts renewed. But, uh, in this this episode of Raw, let's check our rivalries. Um, we're going to have to go and... Mm, what are we going to do? I say we have Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle. Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle in a tag team match up against Edge and who else can we have in there? Sean Marcus isn't really feuding with anyone at the moment. They were supposed to go in a tag team title feud. Yeah, might as well. Let's stick Booker T. Wait, who's better between Bobby Lashley and Booker T? They're exactly the same, but Booker T's popularity is lower. So let's go Bobby Lashley. And then in this match, we can have Ric Flair. Not now. We won't have it in match five, but we'll have Ric Flair up against Booker T. Right there, so that, that's good. Just because I want to get Shawn Michaels out of this this slump at the moment of losing all of his matches, so no better way to put him with the WWE Champion in a match. So here we'll just have um, let's just have Kane v Undertaker once again. This is just going to be a regular soon enough, and Kane is losing those matches big time. His popularity has gone down. Neither of them are fatigued, so let's put them in a, a cool kind of match. Let's go first blood match between the two of them. Hopefully that will put up both of their popularity. But in the promos, just advertising promos, because I need to get a bit of money before I need to renew all those contracts. And then in this match, Batista versus Randy Orton sounds good. Are either of them fatigued? No, so let's put them in a cool kind of match. Let's have them face each other in a tables match. Batista versus Randy Orton. Both of those guys have been pulling off good matches. I'm not surprised because they both have a lot of popularity. And they're both pretty good as well. So, in this one we're going to have a handicap match. 
One on two. Chris Benoit versus Trevor Murdoch. And Tori Wilson, because as you know, she's supposed to be in this rivalry. What it is, is it's a hand. Uh, what is it? A kidnapping storyline? Clearly, Chris Benoit kidnapping Tori Wilson or something. And Trevor Murdoch, the man, coming to her rescue. So, hopefully, Trevor Murdoch can win that. Because I, ju I just want to build him up to be a big guy now. I don't know why, but he's convinced me after having so many big victories. But, uh, match two, we've already got. Match one. Should we have someone in there? I think we have to, actually. Um, who's left? I think there's a rivalry that I'm forgetting. What is it? Um, no? Let me check. What have we got so far? We got Yeah, we got all them. Can be Undertaker, Edge, and all that. Rivalries. Um, no, I'm not missing any of the rivalries. So, what did I have last week? Uh, we got the Divas thing, don't we? I'm going to try and get... Lita up there to beat Tori Wilson. So let's put her in a handicap match just so we can get Lita the win. Hopefully. Not Tori Wilson. Mickey James. Mickey James versus Lita and Melina. That should work. Hopefully Lita and Melina win that match. And if they don't, then I'm just done with our women's division. Right. So that is the whole card. Put out, let's put something on heat. Once again, let's have Great Carly face Lance Cade. Or Umaga, we haven't had Umaga on in a while. Let's put Umaga there. Great Carly view Umaga. And we can have Lance Cade versus Big Show. Lance Cade versus Big Show, there we go. Let's confirm that match card. Let's go simulate these. Lance Cade and. Umaga win those matches. Come on, Lita and Melina. Don't let us down. Lita and Melina win. That's good. That can push Lita so she can beat Mickey James next week, hopefully. Ric Flair versus Booker T. This doesn't matter a lot, but hopefully Ric Flair wins because he hasn't got that many wins recently. He does. That's good. This has started off well, this episode of Raw. Chris Benoit versus Trevor Murdoch and Tori Wilson. Trevor Murdoch, as usual, comes away with the win. What you gonna do? The guy is just amazing. Batista v Randy Orton in a tables match. Should I play this match? No, I'm gonna play the Kane v Undertaker match because Kane needs a win. So I'm gonna help him out with that. Batista gets the win over Randy Orton. Those guys are just going back and forth with their victories. Randy Orton won last week. Batista won the week before. It's just, it's a cool feud so far. So going into this match now, we've got Kane. The the Undertaker, the Brothers of Destruction, facing off against each other once again. I believe this is the the fifth week in this feud that we're into now, and uh, it's already got two thumbs up on the thing. That's that's how it works, isn't it? It does like the thumbs up or whatever to rate them. Kaboom! It's Ken. He had a great match with Daniel Bryan the other day, at, uh, not the other day, like <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Uh, extreme Rules, it was big. Kane ended up going through like a flaming table, man, it was awesome. I loved the match. The Undertaker! Has too long an entrance for us to watch it. So, Undertaker's pretty cool. I do kind of want to push The Undertaker. I don't know who I want to win between the two of these guys. Because obviously it's a loser leaves the brand feud. So, um, yeah, whoever wins between the two of them is staying on at Raw. And the other guy is going to be traded to SmackDown. So if I trade Kane with him at a low popularity, I'm not going to be able to trade him for anyone good. So I'm going to have to try and get the guy's popularity up. Uh, Undertaker, if he loses, then... I should be able to get someone half decent. And I know with Kane, you can't really get anyone good. Because, well, you know, it's like Kane, I'm okay with getting him. When no one, SmackDown never really pick him straight away in the draft. Because he's supposedly not supposed to be that big a guy in the game. But, you know, it's Kane, so he is a big guy. And I do have him in my mind as a big guy. So he is actually down there with the lower people on this roster. So he never gets picked, and I'm always there picking him. But um, 
I can't even get my words right at the moment. I'm focusing on playing the match. But yeah, mainly I want Kane to win this feud, most likely. Just so I can trade The Undertaker for someone good. Undertaker hasn't done much on this GM mode. I've, what is it? What was the first feud that he had? I can't even remember. That, that sums it up that I can't even remember who it was with that he had the feud. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. But it was. It was Kane and Undertaker, wasn't it, who were in the tag team rivalry. But I, I can see big things for Kane. In the last GM mode that I had, I built him up to be like a huge guy. He was fighting for the WWE title and everything. So, uh, yeah, I have Kane down as a big guy. And Undertaker hopefully will lose this feud. But you don't know. I can't just decide like that, you know. I have to beat him first. And tonight, I can prove that I can beat him. This, I, I've forgotten how to run. I've generally forgotten how to run on this game. It's been so long since I played it. Whoa! Undertaker just sat up. I need to run now. Run! Run, Kane! Run! Can Kane not run? Kane can't run. Yes, he can. It's why. That's it. Don't know how I forgot that. Whoa! Missed it. And just tried to close line. Nothing. And once again. And once again. And now I got him. There we go. Then, uh, recently, I did mention this in the first couple of episodes of this GMO, guys. I said I was going to play 2007 for a while. And that if I was enjoying it, I would buy 2008. Now, I have been enjoying it. And the other day, I bought 2008. So, uh, yeah. I'm just checking now. Leave a comment. Everyone who watches this series, I want them to leave a comment on this. Do you want me to stop this GM mode and move on to 2008? Or do you want me to conti continue this one for a while and then, once this is done, then continue on to 2008? Because I'm enjoying 2008 a lot at the moment. So it's all down to you guys. Like, you guys have the decision mostly of whether you're enjoying it or not. So make sure you leave a comment on what you want. And then we can decide after then. Because I'm, en I'm enjoying this GM mode. In the meantime. Choke slam. <laughs> I'm enjoying this GM mode. But I'm also enjoying 2008 as well. It's pretty cool. Let's go for the pit. Well, oh yeah, it's the first blood match, isn't it? Completely forgot about that. Let's get out of here then. Here we go. What we got? We got a steel chair. Take her. Sit down. Chair shots coming at you. Damn, that was big. And I just hit the ref. Drop the chair. Drop the chair. Come on. Uh-oh. Completely out of stamina. I've been keeping an eye on my stamina. <laughs> I just went straight down. That's how out of breath I am. Come on, Kane. Get your stamina back. Turn around. He's right there. Reverse. Reverse. Uh oh. Old school. Old school. We're in trouble. Come on. Up you get, Kane. Up you get, son. Four and a half minutes we're in already. I want to get a. Uh, what's it? Is it? It's like the barbed wire on a stick. I want to get that soon enough, but at the moment I just need to get out of the ring and get some stamina back. Don't follow me, Taker. Stay in there. Let me get my stamina back. Right, now I'm coming. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. DDT. Starting to be in trouble here. Undertaker's getting all of his moves in. Not long before he hits the tombstone, I'd say. He's getting close to it. Careful. Come on. Reverse something. Damn, he's got that finisher there. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That looks not PG. Oh damn. Tombstone. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. It's the first blood match, so I don't know when I'm going to be busted open, but it can't be long. Low blow. Here we go. Huge power bomb. I meant to do the choke slam, but it doesn't matter. 
Right, let's get out there. Let's get the thing. I believe the barbed wire is under here. Here we go. Undertaker. You're going to be busted open now, son. First blood match. Going to be finished. Not just yet. Come on. No, he reversed it. Get out of there. Oh, that was close. I got, got, got his attention. Got his attention. What are you pointing at, bitch? Get down. Pick this thing up. Turn around. Boom. Didn't hit him that well, but come on. Get busted open. And I missed, and my stamina's all gone again. I fell to the ground, and I'm not keeping an eye on my stamina. Oh dear. Careful. 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 Come on, I'm so close to winning this thing. Oh, I was there. I was there. If I'd hit the choke slam, I would have almost been certain to have won it. Get out. Get out of the ring. Don't follow me, Taker. Let me regain my stamina. If I get it back up. Come on. Careful. Careful. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Here we go. Turn around. Turn around. You can't see it. But it's. Oh, I was so close to the chair. But this could be it. No, still not busted open. Come on, man. That's the third finisher I pick. Keep an eye on that stamina. Get it all the way back up. Pick up the, pick up the thing. Pick up the thing. Hit him. Ah, oh, he got the uppercut in there before I hit him. Get him down. Uh oh. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Turn around, Undertaker. Uh oh, he just sat up. But this could be it. Just hit him in the face. Come on, just. Will the guy? Will you die, Undertaker? Will you just die? Because I can't seem to bust him open here. Uh oh. D is it DDT? What is he doing? What is he doing? He's choking me out. And he's out of stamina now. Come on, Kane. Oh, big boot. Kane's stamina goes down so quickly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, this is not good. Big boot. Get out of there, Kane. Get out of there. He's getting close to that tombstone. The moment he hits it, the moment he hits that tombstone, this is going to be done. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Steel steps. You want to come out here, Undertaker? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I'm coming in there. See ya. Got him. That was a bit of a weird way that I hit him with the steel steps, but the fact is I did. I knew the moment that I did, I busted him open. First blood match and Kane gets the victory. That's good. The taker. The guy's bleeding all over the place. Here we go, we're gonna explode the place. We're gonna get the place to explode. Or did he do that back in the day? Back in 2007. I think he did. Yeah, he definitely did. Explode everything. Undertaker's getting up. No, he's not. <laughs> that is a victory for Kane. And his theme tune, which was so much better back in 2007. Just hitting there. Right, so a half decent match between Kane and Undertaker. I'd like to see what that gets rated. But Kane needed the win there, and that's good that he got it. Because I was worried that Undertaker was going to beat me at one point. But here we go, a tag team match in which Shawn Michaels really needs a victory. And they won. Good, that gives Shawn Michaels a victory. I mean, Edge and Bobby Lashley. Edge needs momentum, Bobby Lashley doesn't really. So it's okay to have him lose. Hopefully I'll just give Edge a win next week. We're getting close to our pay-per-view surely soon enough now. It can only be about three weeks. Contracts are expiring. Smackdown got the view change. 10,000. That doesn't really matter. It's because they crowned a new Cruiserweight title. 
new, new cruiserweight title? New cruiserweight champion, I mean. I'm assuming ratings were about the same, yeah, both three stars. And uh, Batista and Orton once again pulling off a great match. Tag team match is good as well. Contracts are starting to expire, and I'm going to have to renew some of them now. So I'll go through and get them in a sec, but what have we got? Whoa! We've got a, more than a more than a few contracts expiring. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 contracts expiring. That is a lot, and the mighty Trevor Murdoch is one of them. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to sort of them out. I'm not going to do that on this episode. I'll just do it, like, between recording episodes. Because that's just going to be boring, me going through, renewing everyone's contracts. I've got enough cash, you can see it there. But, uh, yeah, so this was a good episode. Let's see what it was. All of the matches were rated. Once again, Orton and Batista pulling off the best match. Equal with that tag team match. Kane and Undertaker didn't pull off that good a match. And all of these matches were about, yeah, average. Nothing special. But uh, yeah, so let's move on to ending the episode. I was about to go on to the next episode of Raw there for some reason. But uh, yeah, this is okay episode. Fan support once again still in our favour. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Please leave a like and remember, comment if you want me to move on to 2008 GM mode. Or if you like me to continue with this one. So please like this video and goodbye.